Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and I've installed the latest version of Android on my Google Pixel XL. On August 21st, Google officially named Android O, Android Oreo, and uh, they pushed the update out to Pixel and Nexus devices. I have the update installed here, so let's take a look around and see what's new. If you own a Galaxy S8 or other OEM device that's relatively new, it should receive the update, but probably not for uh, you know, a few months or so as it has to be approved by your manufacturer and your carrier. Now, one of the reasons why I booted this device up for you right here is to show you just how fast it boots up. Uh, so with Android Oreo, it takes only around 18 seconds to boot up. Previously, it was around like 50 seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and start talking about some of the features. I'm gonna highlight some of the uh, biggest features starting with notification dots. So we'll see little notification dots next to app icons when there's a notification uh, for that application, as you can see right here. So you'll see in the notification panel, I have a notification for the Google app. It says Death Note now in theaters. And so for the Google app right here, you'll see a little notification dot. And if I long press this, a couple menus will pop up. One of the menus mentions notification, Death Note now in theaters. And as you can see, the uh, pop-up menu has been slightly redesigned from previous versions of Android. So with Android Oreo, not only can you jump to a specific area of an app like voice search or search, but you can actually jump to this notification just by long pressing the app icon. There's also an autofill and smart text selection feature. Uh, password managers will now be able to use the autofill API to fill forms and passwords. Since it's baked into the OS, it should be much more uh, seamless than ever before. It's hard to show you because this feature is so new, but basically if you have a password manager app like LastPass, um, it should be updated over the next you know few weeks or so to support Android or your devices and let you sign in uh, using the autofill API with to like Twitter, for example, or other social media applications. I can, however, show you the smart text feature. So if I copy a random address, this is just a, literally a random address that I picked, um, and I go and paste it into a Google Doc spreadsheet just to show you, I can highlight it all, select all, and you'll see artificial intelligence automatically uh, realizes that this is an address and I can tap on this button here and it'll pull it up in Google Maps. This will work with phone numbers and various other info as well. A very cool feature indeed. Some of these settings are condensed and will need to be expanded. If we go to sound, we'll notice that not all the settings are um, able to be viewed. We have to hit advanced and we'll see all the settings here. The goal is to make it easier to look at. So while it will take some time to adjust, it should ultimately pay off in the long run. At least that is the idea. The battery section has been updated quite significantly. That is not the battery section, here it is. You'll see there's a section for last full charge and screen usage since full charge. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Battery life should be improved on devices running Android Oreo by um, limiting how apps are used in the background. Find My Device is a new feature in Android Oreo and it's similar to Apple's Find My iPhone. There's not much to really see here, but if you have this feature on, you can go to Find My Device via Google and it'll show you where this device is located and will let you remotely lock and erase data on it if it falls in the wrong hands. One of the biggest new features is the picture-in-picture -picture mode and it's pretty awesome. If we go to the browser and load up a video in Chrome, all you have to do is open a video. This is a video from CNET. If we go to full screen, and then if we go home, we will see the window is minimized and we can drag it around the screen. We can multitask and do all that fun stuff while still viewing the video. Apparently YouTube does work, but you need YouTube Red to take advantage of the picture in picture mode, unfortunately. Android Oreo does add the ability to double tap the screen to wake it up. And if you have a message here, you can quickly um, instantly reply to it straight from the ambient display. And if you've ever downloaded a third-party app, you've probably familiarized yourself with the unknown sources section in the settings that allows you to do so. Well, with Android Oreo, you can whitelist app installations from uh, Google Chrome, Drive, Gmail, and various other third-party applications like Facebook. So if you were to download an APK from your favorite site from Gmail, it can be installed without any issue. 
With that said, Google Play Protect is built in to Android Oreo. And what it does is basically it checks your apps and devices for harmful behavior and will notify you of any security risks that are found. It's a nice little behind the scenes security feature built into Android Oreo. So with that said, those are some of the best and most interesting features found in Android 8.0 Oreo. I'll place a link in the description to visit the official Oreo page to uh, read all about the different features that we did not discuss. And let me know which feature is your favorite in a comment down below. As always, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDag.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.